Hello everybody, welcome to another Super League game in Group A, Series 6, Week 1. We've got Dimmy G with his Undead here. Standard Undead, not, not making use of the additional skill package like the others have done up against Sol, who also is not using, not making use of the additional skill package. He is making use of the stacking skill package. Um, so both kind of a little bit non-standard teams here. Um, Undead Tier 1, Skaven Tier 2. And uh, I mean, you know, pretty, somewhat standard builds, but just not, not maybe as typical as what you'd expect to see at Euro Bowl. We've mostly gone with Euro Bowl rules. Do like the 13 players for Sol, so he gets to bench a gutter and the thrower so that he's definitely got the one turn, you know. He's got some one turn chance, even if three gutters get cast. Dimmy has got very protected ghouls. No, no guard on the mummies, but that's okay. <laughs> Great intro, yeah. Honestly, this mod. All right, it's it's on the wall. Let me take off my slipper and murder it. There you go. That was the sound of death. <laughs> Third nice gets the pow. Doesn't follow, Dimmy. You've got to follow and keep your mummies on. You have to keep your mummies based so that they can't just stand up and not get hit by mummies. Both of these should have followed. And then this guy could have hit from, from outside, right? To keep him onto the mummy as well, right? So right now, you don't really want to blitz with your tackler here, right? The tackler is reserved for hitting gutters. So the tackler should have been inside. And then the ghoul could have hit from the outside onto there. This mummy could have been here and been on two clan rats. This guy could have followed, been in there. And then, you know, you can still protect the mummies with like ghouls and stuff. Uh, not ghouls, zombies. So there you go. So yeah, both both mummies could have been on two um could have been on two line rats. Oh, what's this? Change life. Yeah, yeah, I had, I had one of those in Germany and it was brilliant, yeah. Yep. Yep. Nope. He's failed to pick up, put in a reroll because he's against rats, which is completely reasonable. And fails. But this is, I mean, this is a good formation against the, against pressure, right? There's this guy obviously is, is doable. And then this guy is doable or this guy. Um, but at least, I don't think Sol is getting the ball this turn. Yeah, but that that's the thing, you know, like I think it's a big, it's a big deal, right? Like, okay, you can move them around next turn maybe, but like... This guy wouldn't have been standing up right and stuff or he'd have been dodging. I think it was I think it's important to like you know, maybe he's afraid of like the rattle go blitzing and stuff, but um Sol's got no guard, right? So you just need to put like a zombie around them, in between them, and then they're they're like safe from getting too deep. So I think I think you've gotta do that. Like you've really got to bang right this game this game is all about the banging you have to be getting your mummy hits they have to be murderizing these armor seven guys like they oh my god amazing souls rat ogre is the absolute worst it is the absolute worst <laughs> oh dear me Dimmy could do a bit of a blitzing the skinks play here, right? He could assist with the ghoul, block there, and then blitz the 
gutter here. I think that's a bit excessive. <laughs> I think it's just better to, you know, block this guy, blitz this guy, and maybe foul the right. Oh, great. He's got a. He's got two reserves. Not blitzing with mighty blow. I or I already hate this. Not blitzing with mighty blow. Oh my goodness, Le Double Skulls. The problem here is is isolating his own tackler, right? Like this this tackle this should have been the goal probably, right? Even though you don't need a goal hit by a tackle. Um I guess he can come down, but still. Really don't need a tackler hit. Like, you know, you've taken a tackler, right? You've taken a tackler on purpose. Um, and you're in the game where the tackler is good. I was outrageous by Dimmy going for before the pickup. <laughs> Doing it before the pickup was outrageous from Dimmy. Against rats. It still looks relatively safe, but whew. like you know, you re-rolled the pickup last turn, right? Like you, you want the ball up against rats, and yeah, there's no gaping hole or anything yet. But um, yeah, look straight away, we're coming round. Things are happening. Yeah, there, 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 there's no gaping holes, right? Like the the roger can blitz this this uh, ghoul, and there's like a three-two through, or he could chain that guy out and stuff. But then it's he's not knocking this one over, so it's not doing anything. Um, he could chain, he could run all the way around and like chain this guy up somehow. But that he hasn't got guard, and that also can't really do it. So, all things considered, there's no gaping hole here. Um, I mean, you could uphill the mummy, right, for a push, and then get everything through. That, that's the only way to, like, really make a gaping hole, is to uphill the mummy with, like, maybe the two gutters left. It's not a bad idea to have gone for that, actually, right? Like, you know, go for this, go for this blitz, or, or, that, or that blitz, right, the tackler, blitz the tackler. Um, leave those two, and then just go for this uphill, and then if you get that... Oh, he's not got this guy stood up, so he does nothing. Most reliable big guy in the game, by the way. Just just quietly, in case there's any doubt. There you go. Brilliant. And I said he goes to the dodge away there. And fails. So now Dimmy gets to mighty blow hit this tackler. And hit this guy. And get the ball in a cage and foul the rat ogre. Oh he's he's being safe with this guy for the pickup. There's a certain amount of value in that. The problem is if you fail the pickup, I think you just lose anyway. <laughs> The problem with kind of thinking like that, which is how I tend to think sometimes, is often you haven't lost the game when something disastrous goes wrong. So it is really is usually worth guarding against failure. So, you know, there's there is there is something to be said for this, you know, just moving this guy to here in case in case the fail pick up, but there's also a lot to be said for fuck it, just, you know, pick it up and go. Like it's only one in nine times, right? It's only eleven percent. It's the both down. I think he's gonna foul before the pickup, right? This is definitely not good enough. To do that, 
Okay, he's not. He's moved. He's moved the zombie. I think so, Halamis. Yeah. I th okay. So it, yeah, I think that's the way to think about it, right? Like, if you fail this pickup, you just lose anyway. So go for it. And but having said that, right? How much better does it look if this mummy was on this guy, and if this, if this, uh, what's he called? Blitzer. If this blitzer was over here, and this mummy was down here, all of a sudden, like, it just looks a lot better than it does now, right? So, like, even though there's times when you think, fuck it, you know, if I, if I fail, I've lost, it's surprising how much that's just not true. But, wow, four failed pickups for Dimmy, very unlucky. It's both, right? It's both. He hasn't, he hasn't really done anything, right? He hasn't. His his mummies aren't out pressuring linemen. He hasn't broken any armors. He's got a player sent off, so he's actually getting out bashed by Skaven. And and he's failed four pickups. I mean, the failed pickups were definitely a problem, right? He's 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 used two rerolls and he doesn't have the ball. So the the pick the pickups fail is a massive problem. If he's got the ball on a blodger, he's looking a lot better than now. But this tackle isolation was, uh, was always very bad. The tackle that should have been like the tackle that should have been one of these guys, right? And the, and the blodger should have been up there. Straight away, then he's got a tackler here to deal with the rats. Like on your offense, the tackler is used against gutters. Your opponent is not going to let you hit four gutters here. He he will let you hit gutters here because that's and that's also when the shit hits the fan, right? Like you know, different if it's in Amazons or or whatever, but like people aren't just going to let you hit gutter runners here. Like they're just not. He's got four gutters. There's no way your edge three movement six tackler is hitting gutter runners. So you keep your tackler back here in case something goes wrong and you can hit a gutter. Because that then the, the, these gutters are exposed, right? All th there's three gutters exposed here. But all three... Oh, he's only got three, right? All three gutters are exposed. There's a handoff to the strength three guy and makes it. So I think the tackler should have been back there. I think the mummy should have been more aggressive. And uh, he should have fucking rolled better on the pickups. <laughs> he really should have fucking rolled better on the on the pickups. Yeah, he handed it off a bludge off a bludge gutter. Because it was gonna get blitzed into another 2D, that wasn't it? I guess is what he was thinking. It was six dice on this. Or is it's not easy to get uh, two dice than the other, and the scatter's really bad as well? But it's not actually, because this guy can come in. He should have maybe tried to tag this guy, so now he can run all the way around, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then he still so he still gets four dice on it. But I guess it means he's got gutter standing up next turn. Like he's got all three gutter standing up next turn now, has he? Yeah. Oh no, Dimmy.
I mean, he might want to GFI with the mummies, right? But yeah, he probably should have just moved. Probably. Oh, well, this one's got a punch anyway. This one's got a punch. But yeah, this one probably should have moved. Whatever it was going to go already. Like, this could have powered, and then this this one could have, like, double GFI'd, right? Like, it's not even terrible to double GFI it. I guess move there for this block. Indeed, it is Chirgun. He's playing better than I did versus Tree so far. <laughs> Admittedly, not a high bar, but still. You could um, you could double GFI there to like trap this gutter, right, or to tag that gutter. So. The problem is he's only got one reroll left, so GFIing with the mummies is pretty terrible. So it probably is better to have just moved it up to tag that guy. Or on the roger. What about this guy? Three, four, five, six, seven. GFI? Four three from the wrestler. Maybe if maybe if four three the the obviously from tackle. So no, you've you've just got to go for the pick up first. I think I would have done the dodge right, even though it's like slightly worse in in complete odds to get. Um, because I'd want to conserve my reroll. Oh my god, he did. <laughs> Dimmy, <laughs> Dimmy fails five pickups. And then Sol catches the scatter. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. You have to. You can't leave the ball on the ground versus rats. You just can't. If you leave the ball on, on the ground versus rats, you lose. <laughs> That's the rules of blood ball there for you. You put... You put, um, yeah, you, if you put ta three tackle zones on it, they'll scatter it and into none and score. If you you can't block it, it'll, it'll just scatter, it'll just blitz you and scatter it and then score. Like, there's just, there's nothing. Even with two tackle zones, he still picks it up 75% of the time and scores. <laughs> like, there is no, there is no protecting the ball. Like you just can't. It it's it's too dangerous. You have to try the pick up there. You just have to. You could say he could have re-rolled the pick up, but it, again it's only fifty fifty and he's on one re-roll. This guy can come down to so go there. Yeah, you basically must do it. Like a big guy, even if it's with a wraith, you've gotta go for it. <laughs> <laughs> like ball on the ball on the ground versus rats is 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 a touchdown. That that's the way you've got to look at it. Like it basically is. Like you're not you're not too far wrong. If you if you think ball on the ground versus rats is touchdown, you'll never be too too far wrong. Sol's time management is appalling. Like, this guy was going there, like, how long ago? 30, 40 seconds ago? Once, you, once you've moved the ball first, then you move this guy. You could have moved this guy first as well, right? But definitely after the second move after the ball. <laughs> okay, four, four stand firm augers is, is pretty decent, yeah. Here we go, pause the tackle. KO. And then Sol gets a tackle the ghoul. And pow it. Uh, Dimmy was in before in uh, Blood Bowl 2. Uh, Blood Bowl 2, 
it was more like you know like a streamer league because somebody made Twitch Blood Bowl League, and I thought the idea was like you know a league with the people on Twitch like the streamers right and then um, I was like oh, that's a great idea and then it was just like every other league you know like OCC Rebel. Era BB, they're all kind of the same. Era BB's a little bit different, isn't it? But they're essentially all the same, right? All the big leagues are the same. UK BBL, they're like they're all the same, right? They have a big league. There's tiers. You get promoted and demoted. That's it. Um, and so that's what they made as Twitch Blood Bowl League. And I was like, ah, don't really, not enthusiastic now. At first I was enthusiastic, but then when it was revealed, it was just going to be like all the rest. I was unenthusiastic. Um, so then, when I made Super League after the uh, after the real life Super League football Super League didn't happen, but after it was all the controversy, I thought, "Ooh, I can finally have my idea of a streamer league and uh, call it Super League." So the main thing was, um, you know, streamers, and so there were lots of streamers in the first couple of seasons of Super League, but then this time there was the World Cup ticket in the first season, so I thought. Let's invite people who did well in the season two season final, the season two finals, because then you know, like, it's more objectively just good players. Um, so tr you know, trying to go more, just people who I think are good rather than streamers. Um, but you know, look, still Dimmy, still Dimmy's still better than most, isn't he? And he's uh, he's uh, sober now, so. While he may not be on the level of Diomed or Crucifer, I think he's definitely going to have to be in Super League. So there you go. Not rolling well enough for Super League. You're not rolling well enough for Super League. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Watch the VOD, Blood Bowl and Bobbers. I can't say it all again. No is the short answer. Okay, this link is horrible, but um, it should work. And there's the, um, you can see Dimmy was in season two. There's no, there's no shame in going all one four. Shouldn't have went zero zero five. There's no shame in that either. I could go zero zero five this season. There's no shame in going anybody going zero zero five in Super League. doing it seemed really weird to not beat him off unless he's then going to like blitz with that guy oh he's just got wrestled okay i guess his play was just to do this dodge if it was a push anyway so or bl maybe it was no he'd already blitzed hadn't he he'd already blitzed so i guess his plan was if he pushes him he just dodges out and scores anyway so it didn't matter where he was going. 
And I guess there's no cage here, so let's just dodge skull. Sold out four minutes of time band. Yeah, it is, Helen is, it is. Right, that's that's the thing, right? Like there's there's four there's four factors in play in a game of Blood Bowl. There's how good the team is. In terms of like which you know because people like to say racial matchup, but at the end of the day, the racial matchup doesn't mean anything, right? Because you could have lizards versus dwarves, which is a her terrible one in NAF style, but the the lizards man team could be a rookie team, and the dwarf team could have like you know ten guard and ten mighty blow and ten stand firm, and then all of a sudden the dwar the dwarves are a big favorite, right? So so just the teams is one, the dice. Is obviously a, a big one and then you've got skill and play so like skill being the overall skill level of the coach so for example um, you know I would be favored against fault force but then there's also the play because the the people don't always put up to their skill level as you can see <laughs> if you look at my setup my turn one and my turn two against misspell tree <laughs> that is the best example isn't it because that was I don't think Fault Force would have been that bad for those turns so you know it is what it is but the closer together the teams are which they are in, in Super League right because people are generally making good teams and yes there's different racial matchups and stuff but generally people are making good teams uh, similar TV so there's not too much between the teams Generally, the skill levels are quite close, so you'd imagine the play levels would also be close. So the biggest variant in these games is often going to be the dice. Oh, and Dimmy loses a turn. Like failing five, like Dimmy failing five pickups, right? So Sol exposing the gutters here. He doesn't care about exposing the gutters because obviously, if Dimmy blitzes them, he's not getting forward and he's not getting the penetration. So. That's why I really do love putting like players like Gutters there to draw the blitz. Um, I I mean maybe maybe Blood Bowl and Bobbers like the, you know that affects people in different ways, doesn't it? Um, what I find is I play worse streaming than when not streaming because you know streaming and playing is hard. Um, is this fine here? It is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my God! I just found this. <laughs> Two absolutely legends of the game. Top, 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 top coaches. <laughs> Not world class, but top coaches. Yes, we are fine here. Thank you very much for that introduction to the casters. But the players are a bit shit, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, the coaches. Because it's a well, you have to war. We you have to work, you know. <laughs> Just trying to give you know other people chances to qualify for the World Cup. Exactly, exactly. Um, no, there's no there's no World Cup tickets on these uh, these past two seasons. But uh, you know, look, uh, uh, Bright was in this time, right? He won he won Chalice, so he's invited. And uh, Dimmy was invited because. Um, Okay, because I like him, <laughs> but <laughs> but you know he's, right. he's a top coach still, isn't he? I say he's one of the top fifty coaches in Hastings. Yes, definitely. I'd go so far as to say as top five in Hastings. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, we don't know, we don't know, you know, there could be, you know, there's a lot of local league shops and all that, you know. <laughs> okay, top 50. <laughs> I mean, the top 50 also includes the top five and the top one, you know. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Funnily enough, he, 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 he's a tournament organizer now, isn't he, Dimmy? And he had, a, he had a tournament in Hastings that was won by Imperial Nobility, so... There you go, knobs or P. 
his tournament was probably won by the best player in Hastings. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's not a Euro League, no. There's a Sol is American. A Sol is American playing this game at uh, half four his time. Yeah, but uh, there are not that many American coaches anymore. There aren't, no. No, not many at all. There's Mr. Light, isn't there? There's Mr. No, and Mr. Light's Canadian, isn't he? And obviously Mr. Page is Canadian. I'm, I'm, I'm think Mr. Light's a Canadian. Yeah, Jay Leave. Yeah, Jay Leave's American. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a bunch of there's a bunch of Americans on Fumble like Bazza. I don't think Bazza plays Blood Bowl three. He played Blood Bowl two, didn't he? Bazza Castine. Um, so the signing up for this Captain Melons is not possible. What you can do is get invited by me. This is invite only for the best of the best. So um, I've tried to be somewhat objective. Um, with the sign-ups, but of course there is a bit of personal bias. The best of the best that are available. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that 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 part is also true, right? Like you know, some people said no, like Cruz and stuff. Um, like obviously, I'd have Cruz, right? It's, it's not just this is who I think is the best. I have uh, I have invited some people who've said no. I've gotten I make no bones about that I would have Cruz in. Uh, Diamond said no this season. I'd have Diamed in as well if I was just picking you know, the best I could get. Here we go with the second half. <laughs> yep. So it's 1 0 to Sol. We'll be seeing a Dakar now, no doubt. And uh, probably, probably victory. But. Dimi can try and do something. You never know. He's got he's got a lot of speed, hasn't he? He's got a lot of blodge and rodge with the ghoul, so you know he should be able to move around and put some pressure on. Yes, and this game is dedicated to our viewers in Mali, oh. the capital Bamako, the currency is the West African uh, franc, and the national flower is not declared. They keep the national flower a secret. <laughs> wow. It's not declared, but the national dish is Tigat de Gay that uh, probably someone has tried. <laughs> in chat, there, how many people are in chat? 94 uh, people in chat. We all know that Blue Ball coaches love food. <laughs> About half of them do. <laughs> yeah. You're 50 50 on stick thin or obese generally, is how, is how games work for <laughs> enthusiasts for all. <laughs> Yes, is a uh, Ogrins or Adeptus Mechanicus. There are no other options. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. <laughs> and almost always Nurgle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, uh, yeah. Father Nurgle is a Blood Bowl coach, the ultimate Blood Bowl coach. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he's always thinking about uh, painting uh, his minis, but just gives them, you know, the the green color. Ah, that will do. This will do. <laughs> oh, Best point in the city. That's that's a start, Captain Melons. I remember it was very funny. There was a there was a uh, thing. You know, Magic the Gathering, and there was like, it was like an intro thing, and it was like, so you're the best player in your house. And uh, Wanger, who was the top player, top ranked player in England at one time, his brother got this set, and I'm like, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> instantly, instantly, no chance of that. <laughs> yeah. So interesting that Sol's gone for the side where he can't just hit a ghoul with tackle easily. Um, it looks like he just wants to blitz the uh, white with his blitzer, his blitzer, his roger. There you go, it's been trusting in the roger. He, you know, a man uh, of principles. <laughs> also, we can guarantee that uh, Sol hasn't eaten any cat or dog recently. <laughs> I know it's a hot topic in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Boris Johnson did play did play Blood Bowl, didn't he? When he was like when he was at like that soccer aid thing, <laughs> he's just 
Destroy. Oh, yeah, no, we hit back in that poor kid, yeah. <laughs> Hey! Oh, oh. oh my god, so well, best best uh, big guy in the game. Yeah, most reliable big guy, can't argue most with that. Most reliable big game, yes. Oh that's amazing. Oh flip. Yeah, that's so. that, that was one of the top uh, things of uh, Boris Johnson in Japan. A uh, country based in politeness and uh, tradition, he just fucked with uh, all of it. Touched the sacred things that nobody could touch. Tackle <laughs> uh, a kid that was probably the, the son of a minister or something like that. That was a glory. <laughs> oh dear. So he's got the best of... one. Sorry, carry the on. Best this one, is funny. Yeah. The best one was uh, Donald Trump went to Japan, you know, to meet with the prime minister and the emperor and all that. One of the things they do, they have these uh, co-fish or co-fish, you know, that's supposed to be, you know, very delicate animals, and when you feed them, you know, a very Japanese, if you have seen Shogun, you yes. see them sometimes yeah, feeding yeah, fishes, yeah. you know, yeah. and they feed them very calmly and slowly. <laughs> Donald Trump got a handful of food, throw it to the water, and then started patting the emperor on the back, <laughs> which, you know, the emperor is not someone you are supposed to touch. <laughs> So it was like, holy shit, you know, it's a speed run. Oh, there you go, heresy, boy, oh, there you go. In, in other times, it was a war declaration, but yeah, you know, <laughs> times have changed. But it was incredible, you know, like, yeah, you feed them slowly, you know, this is something, you know, very Japanese, blah. There you go, fuck the fucking fish. <laughs> Amazing. Well, this is very interesting, isn't it? I think, I think Jimmy should probably have put the other mummy there. I would have liked to have done this hit first, just you know, see if I power and then see if I can make this tackle hit on him. Because that's kind of exciting, isn't it, to tackle hit this gutter? And then he could have just Maybe. gone for the pickup. If he if he knocked this guy down, he could have actually gone for the pickup with this ghoul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI, right? So I'd like to have got I'd like to have tackled this guy and then picked up with the uh Well, but uh, he chooses to go for the other I think that tackle hit on the the wrestle Strip ball? Yeah. What? Well, that, that, that's that's a mandatory target. I mean, I would have liked it. Ooh, so very good bait here by Dimmy. He's going for the rogue blitz. Okay, he gets the ball. He gets the ball and picks it up. So yeah, I mean, he just does the other way. Um, it, uh, my way, I think, had better payoff, but started off with a one in nine block. So like, you know, it's it, there's there's yeah. So my, my way would have started with a one in nine block. But then it would have been a tackle hit on the stripper, which is obviously better than a non-tackle hit on not stripper. Um, but, you know, he still came around both sides. And uh, it's still looking pretty strong, isn't it? It's looking pretty strong from Dimmy. Probably needs the uh, Sol is not going to have any problem uh, going for the red dice on the ball. But it's a four plus. He needs to put the, the tackle on the, the gutter. Yeah, yeah, he's got a GFI and put tackle on the gutter. Yep. Okay, that makes things uh, more interesting. Yeah. He could 1D blitz the ball carrier, push him to the URSL uh, strip ball, cancel the... Uh, it's hard yes, to cancel them all, isn't it? But he, he, yeah, he can, it's this is and tricky. red dice and red dice, but that's really tricky. It's a lot of the. Things. He's got the. He's got this route through here, though. He's got the. Yeah, he's got all three gutters can come through around here. So yeah, he's got the two deep. Yeah, he had that to come round. So that's and then you can push him there. He might, he might just have to uphill uh, him, right? I think you might just have to uphill him here. Like yes, uphill is still really With a strip baller, yes. He, ha he, he has to. Yeah. Uphill is still... The problem is this is a 3D uphill right now. So he needs the assist as well. Because otherwise it's a 3D uphill. Because it's a 3 plus dodge from tackle, yeah. chicken. And this gets in the blitz and the block. There you it? go. Puts the assist. Now he's just red dice. The problem there is, is that he's moved, his, he's moved his block one, right? This is the guy who should have dodged off for the assist. Because now he hasn't got the block guy for the recovery. Yeah, 
He's got two gutters, but no block. Oh my god, is he trying to... Okay, no, he's just covering failure, I guess. <laughs> Roger, most reliable big guy in the game. <laughs> he skulls. Oh, he's going to... He skulls again! Oh. Same result, but in different dice. Oh. Outrageous. Does Dimmy go for the win? Or try and go for the draw? This is the oh, question. It was one of the things when Dimmy is uh, training for the draw. I mean, he should go for the win. He has a lot of... Uh, he should try to destroy one of the gutters. <laughs> it's really dangerous, Three. though. Like, he's, he's, you know, Sol's got 13 players, so, so he's not even players down yet. Maybe, maybe if this is right, just to go for the draw. Honestly, as sad as it is, as sad as it is, I think he lost the chance to win in the first half, and now I think he should just take the draw. Wait, wait, he can uh, get a lot of. I think it depends on the tackle uh, hit. If he gets rid of the blotch uh, gutter and then he fouls yes, the yeah, this big foul this foul is going to be amazing big foul there if he managed to you know take those two out apparently fine going for the win and here, here it comes <laughs> oh dimmy absolute disgrace terrible mistake is he trying to score then okay he was trying to free the ball so maybe it's a chance there for the Foul. He's got a foul. Like he's just got to foul. He's got to. He's got to block this. Got to block this. He's got to. He's got to block him to get this goal. Yeah, around. the worst hill goal free. Okay, so yeah, he's just moving the ball around a little bit. Man, I don't like this. I think you've got to foul. You've got to, like, this, it's, this is a strip wrestle gutter. You just have to foul it. You have to foul it dead. You, yep. Out of 100%, blitz the gutter, block the leader, and then uh, block this guy, block this guy, get this guy in, so just mega foul on this guy. Block this one, hopefully power it so you get the goo round as well to shore it up. You've got to foul this stripper. Stripper is so annoying. Mega annoying. Taking out this tackler would be nice. He has to hit the tackle, he wants to free the Wurzel good. I mean, he doesn't have to... Oh, he can, you know, just try to dodge, it's a 1 in 9 anyway. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you should punch him as well, he's got to, yeah, he's got to, yeah, got to get this here. Good lad, Dimrath, kill him. Diced. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could just dodge, but yeah, I think you've got to try and power. Yeah, well, I'm lucky. You can, you can just push him down. I still, I still can dodge. I still can dodge. Yeah. Well, not that. You can just punch him again. You can just punch him again, yeah. Oh. There you go. There you go. For uh, two rerolls left. Yeah, turn 10. Yeah, he has to eat that. Yeah. Most reliable big guy in the game. <laughs> Reliably fucking shit. <laughs> there you go. There's my take on the rat ogre. See, this still isn't terrible for Sol, right? If Sol wants to force Dimmy in early, right, so that Sol can win 2 1. So, yeah, Dimmy really shouldn't be going for the win because if, if I'm Sol here, I'm just trying to force Dimmy in as soon as possible so I just get to win 2 1. So, yeah. I think uh, the hello, for Travel is Vision. Nice. No, big guys uh, have a special trait. All of them uh, learners, and the mummies doesn't uh, have it. Oh, well, learner among other things. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. He's got the ball off him. You have to move him up or wrestle. Nah, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. No, he no, 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 you just move him up. 
Wow. It's in one tackle zone. Two tackle zones. The leader is still there. Oh, well, I meant I meant for for Sol picking it up. Ah, for <laughs> Sol. You could like go. Well, trouble to... vision in your heart, maybe this, yeah. but. Oh, I'd have just gone for the pickup if I was going to do a three plus dodge. I think. But, um... Yeah, the generally accepted big guy definition is a uh, loner and a mega trait. Yeah, yeah, mummies, mummies do not. So, so it, mummies were in the original rules in like 1994, and they were just normal players. And then what happened is like things like rat ogres and ogres were just star players, and you could use the rules for Morgan Thorg to represent an ogre, and then later on they brought out um, rookie big guys and they had a skill called big guy, right? And they were big guys. And then you could have like, you, you like you had like up to two big guys and stuff and you just chose like an ogre or whatever. So that's what it was. <laughs> so they've never been big guys and big, but big guys was like a proper thing that people actually were at one point. And then in the end, like, you know, that's been changed over the years into just meaning things with the mega train and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's been around for a while, and I've, I've been around for all of it. <laughs> in fact, in fact, when Jimmy says the 1994 edition, that wasn't the first edition. No, true. That was that was the first of the modern, the modern era. Yeah, that was the third The modern third era, the, the playable era of Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kemri was four months, yeah. I've got the rules for first edition. I should I should actually look at the rules for first edition because I I don't know what first edition rules Back were. home in Spain I think I still have the one rules of first or second edition. Nice. They were absolutely mental. A uh, game will take a uh, days to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless, unless the other coach, you know, hired us assassins and kill half your team before even the game starts. Ah, that was second dead. That was second dead. <laughs> um, yeah, the assa ninja assassins. <laughs> ninja assassins. There you go. Ah, uh, there you go. I hired the ninja assassin. Your player uh, dead. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, hello, Kalon. Um, I've, I've just got a question for you there. Um, what are your thoughts on kick? <laughs> Sorry, I did that just before I banned him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you do silence, Kellen. Silence, the Kellen. Once again, oh. the English silence in the Irish. <laughs> so, Dimmy does roll the dice and goes in early, so that gives them both a chance at the win, but I think substantially more chance to solve. Um, unfortunately, I think I would have definitely tried to stall that out if I was. Dimmy, but you know, look, he's got a chance for the for the win now, so you know. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, Two yeah. rolls apiece. Yes. By the way, Kevlan, I can confirm you that there is no Swarm Lord in Space Marine 2. <laughs> I was very disappointed when there was an uh, what? There is a hive tyrant uh, running around but no swarm lord and I was like, what the fuck is this? You're not going to That's drop the, all the big guns here. They totally should have had him as like the ultimate. Well, maybe oh, DLC, DLC Swarm Lord. It's got to be. No, hasn't it? they are gonna be new enemies. Really loud, but yeah. In fact, when the campaign ends, you know, with all the thousand sons uh, thing and all that, I was thinking, wait, what second? What happened with the tyrannids that were attacking? You know, there wasn't only one. Uh, like that. <laughs> it was the whole system being attacked. So everybody forgot about the tyrannids. <laughs> Tirano del Enjambre, probably says. See, Emily Repos, you actually answer your own question when you say when cheerleaders have no cost, they just provide a benefit based on the number of models you bought. So they have a cost. <laughs> Actual <laughs> yeah. real money cost. Yeah, and they had to be painted as well. Yeah, that was second as well. Yeah. The glory days.
Okay, so yeah, honestly, I I do think Dimi should have done all he could to just stall and get the draw there. But um, I understand but wanting to go for the win. These two men are men of axiom. <laughs> yeah, I understand wanting they to go for the win, but. We'll see. Spend all your life savings betting on Blood Bowl. Um, yeah. Let me tell you, there are many online casinos that have eSports uh, bets. <laughs> no one, none of them has Blood Bowl. Maybe there is a market there. I mean, it's pretty fun. I was thinking maybe we should have something set up, you know, like with a stream, like, you know, betting uh, channel points and that. But I put it the other day. I put the one up uh, one day, you know, to check who was going to be the first one to dab Skull. Mm -hmm. But with Dimi and uh, Sol, we will run out of, uh, of, of, of bets, you know, who's going to double Skull first. <laughs> it's going to be, you know, whoever turn it is next. Timmy's used more time bank than Sol. How crazy is that? Well, 13 seconds. Yeah, but still, it's Sol. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Sol. Yeah, yeah did he, I think he did that on purpose. Oh, and then he's rolled a one. Amazing. Amazing. He has three rerolls. Four turns. Maybe <laughs> this is the time to use a reroll. He had a throw right next to it, but he thinks, fuck that, I'll go for a 1 in 6 and a 1 in 9. Fails it. Oh boy, is Dimmy going to come swarming with a... with a... ghouls again? He has to. The problem is it's a bit further back this time, isn't it? It is a bit further back. I think the tackle, he's got a blitz of the tackle this time. And then put a bit... Oh, of here is Baron Mbaki talking about the North American fumble... Uh... Oh, wow. Glorious, Bucky. I wonder if you could do the same thing for my Blood Bowl stream. <laughs> That'd be pretty great, wouldn't it, if we had, like, full-on betting with fake currency. There is, there is the... Uh, I can't find... Actually, Dwyer, my time in Germany was my only time without stripper, gambling strippers. Predictions. There you go, there you go, there you go. We can start a prediction. <laughs> Funnily enough. Yeah, fumble is pretty great. I'm going to play some fumble soon as well. There you go. There you go, it's a prediction up. Four. Who will 1 in 36 next? Dimi or Sol? <laughs> oh, there's a 1 for Dimi! <laughs> Instant 1! Okay, not a 1 in 36 though. <laughs> two minutes. I just put a minimum time, you know, to wait because I know 1 is coming. <laughs> and it's a proper 1 in 36. Maybe double skulls or a fairly dodge with 2 plus. Not rolling two ones in an armor roll or something like that. Yeah. Yes, that's a very good point, Kalon. Fumble is definitely not Blood Bowl. It is fantasy football, and uh, not like the NFL fantasy football. But it's like, you know, it's a bit like, if you've heard of the game Sovel, that definitely isn't Warhammer, um, <laughs> then, uh, then somehow Fumble is a bit like that, but with, you know, with fantasy football, and it's definitely not Blood Bowl. And it's definitely not identical to Blood Bowl in every single way. Um, unlike, <laughs> unlike Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Jesus Christ, people, how can be you so cheap with the point channel points? <laughs> there is only 90 points in total in the prediction. Outrageous. There is 100 people here. <laughs> My God. Well, there you go. You're betting a system for a Blood Bowl Super League. Better not do it. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Come on, there you go. All right. Here we go. There we go. Well done. Well done. Well done, Femi. You generated some interest. Oh, there you go. Big points oh, coming shit, out 20K. now. 20k on 
I'm doing? I don't even know how many points do I have, but people must have millions of points. I have 200,000 of them. Okay, so now he makes the pickle. And Sol's got three more turns after this. Easy with the uh, gutters to try to find a spot. Six hundred and seventy six KL. Well done. <laughs> I really need to start doing the commissions, don't I? <laughs> It's impossible. It's impossible. You need you need the whole Louvre to uh, put all the commissions that in order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh yes, get fucked, idiot! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love how shit the rat ogre is. Oh yes. I have two hundred and ten because I spent a lot of them in fake commissions that I knew they were never gonna happen. Yeah, I'll I'll do them at some point. Honestly, things are turning around. Things are turning I'll... around in the life of Jimmy Fantastic. So, Jimmy, Jimmy, you better check the list of commissions before you say that it's a very long list. <laughs> I know it is, but they're gonna get done. Trust me, Oscar bro. Oscar Schindler, the guy from Schindler's List, I'll you know call to say thanks. My list is not Jimmy's list. <laughs> And that's a too tough job, you know, he had to choose, he had to choose which you you know. <laughs> it is a pretty big list, I can't lie. So, you know, this is looking actually pretty decent for Timmy, right? The one reroll sucks, obviously, but, the, the you know, the gooders are contained, aren't they, somewhat? This guy especially, dodging from tackle here, and he's failed. So if this is an AV break, which it is, stun. So, you know, you can push into the rats a little bit here. And uh, try and control them. I guess you've got to blitz this guy, right? So that they can't just fuck off that way. So you've got the tackle on this side. He's got more players here, so maybe... Mm, maybe it's okay, I don't know. I, I feel like blitzing this guy and getting people right in is good. Um, well, uh, there is a total of 22k on the uh, prediction. And 93% of the people <laughs> choose Dimi. To one in thirty six next. <laughs> so Jimmy. if Sol one in thirty six, the person because I'm guessing not the three people that put <laughs> points are gonna get a good good chunk of uh, points. These people, you are supposed to brutal coaches. You should know the odds <laughs> of a bet or something like that. When you saw that, you must bet the betting for Sol. <laughs> and that, that's what you get. It's impossible to you know educate these people. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to use AI out. But, um, so the gnomes exist in Warhammer. So the, this is the thing, right? Blood Bowl is not Warhammer, right? So when Blood Bowl came out in 86, it was not really Blood Bowl. It was not Warhammer, right? There was no... They used some of the races in Warhammer, but it was very distinct lore from Warhammer. Then when, when they brought it out in 94 for third edition, they then decided to make it like you know, very much in the Warhammer. It's still officially, it's not Warhammer, but it was very much more Warhammer, like with war dancers and gut runners and storm vermin, you know, and they really tried to like Warhammerize everything. Um, the Chaos Cup and all the caps and the map of the world was the map of uh, Warhammer. Yeah, yeah, all the races are Warhammer. That's, uh, well, most of them, right? Necromantic isn't really a Warhammer race, right? There's, you know, we werewolves and stuff like that. Flesh Golems, not really, right? Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That, but uh, so officially, they didn't they they didn't change the background. It's still not actually Warhammer. It's a parody of the Warhammer world with most of the same races. And then gnomes have been mentioned in Warhammer fluff, but they've been mentioned a lot in uh, in Blood Bowl fluff. So yeah. I mean, the chaos dwarfs survive in Blood Bowl. They disappear for regular Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. They're in total Warhammer though, aren't they? Which is nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dimmy's gonna GFI with a with a mummy here, right? I think he this Yeah, I think this this ghoul comes round here. Here to to trap that gutter a little bit. It's not really trapping him unfortunately, but I think I think maybe you do. He's okay, he's coming for the GFI, let's go. 
No one in 36 for Dimi. I mean, this is really good for this guy, right? Like, he's he's got, you know, he's got four, four, three, three. So, like, he's going to have to three, two away with him. Or blitz this guy. And he's keeping the tackle back as a safety. And the problem with that is, you know, if he was, if the tackler was in somewhere, he'd be putting more pressure on, wouldn't he? But it's hard. It gets so hard against Skaven because you want to put pressure on them, but then if you do, they'll just fucking run the other way. So, like, if he doesn't put this ghoul in here, it's just like two, three, two away, and two away, and he's got like three people over here or something. Four, four or five players over here. So he kind of has to put the ghoul in there, but then if he does, then they can just two plus out the other way. So it's it's really rough. It is really rough. So he's just gone for another safety. Imp knobs are very stupid, yeah. A long slurp from the teeter bonus time, indeed, yeah. Yeah, look, uh, no, got less with time than so. They, they live up north, very close to the, the pole where is the chaos stuff there, and they are very violent and have beers and uh, stuff. Like that. Basically all they chaos, know. aren't they? That, that's, the, that's the thing. Yes. Basically all chaos in, in the fluff. Now, they didn't used to be. They, they were always in the fluff. They weren't as chaos -y. Now they're basically all just, um, canonically, they're all uh, chaos tribes. Okay, here we go, Roger Blitz. To get the chain. And he gets the chain. But does he get the power on the second hit? He does. Glorious. He does a marvelous chain. Beautiful. The roger <laughs> was waiting the its <laughs> moment. Yep. God tier right ogre. Best big guy in the game. I always said so. Two ones, but it's an armor <laughs> roll, and I say that doesn't count. <laughs> yep. Uh, season 7, so if the chances are, right, they'll release it in order of tabletop release, makes them... Oh my god, he double wand! He double wand! Well, that's a dodge for a uh, fail for... Yeah, yep, there's a snake for Sol. Massive win for people who betted on Sol. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So, so come, Sol. <laughs> I don't well, know why he dodged. I don't, the point of the chain is to block this guy. I don't points. know why he dodged. Going to the people that they choose. So, Dimmy, yeah, this is looking amazing for Dimmy now. And there you go. This is like the heroes that they sold. Steve Motti with 1,000 points, Sir Goosey with 400 <laughs> points, and Kimba Fruto with 70 points. <laughs> I have to say, Steve Motti. <laughs> one feet, each one of them won around 15 times the amount they the invested. Glorious. It did free the ball, that's the thing, it just had the block. I don't know why it didn't. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> wow. 81 is a bigger number than 36, indeed, yeah. Yeah, like the chain did what it was meant to do. It got him to it got him to block instead of dodge. Very strange that he didn't. So now Dimmy can blitz and then pick it up and then run back, right? Gets him. Removes him. Both of these gutters are stunned. And Dimmy's got the ball. Maybe he'll come round to this side. This round this side isn't so bad, is it? That's pretty decent actually. Then he gets to make this block. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, okay, no, I think up there just to assist that block. You can free up uh free up zombies here. <sighs> He can't re-roll that, I don't think. Oof.
flip me. Rat ogre. Can't reach. What a pair of turns. Yeah, unbelievable. Dimmy going for the win now. <laughs> it's not what I would have done. I'm um, sorry, so yeah, so Corn, Corn are next on the Corn were the first team released that wasn't in the rule book. So there's there's snotlings and ogres that are in the rule book that aren't in Blood Bowl 3, but I can't imagine they would bring them out after like directly after Halflings and Goblins. Here we go, he's failed a, he's failed this dodge, makes the re-roll, gets the 2D without tackle, or block, has to re-roll, only gets a push. Flip me. Now next turn the stripper will be active. So maybe Dimmy will just try and score here. Yeah, I think highest chance that Corn will be in season seven. Yeah, just like lead times, right? It, it makes sense to that they're the most likely. The team that's been out the longest has to be the most likely. Has to be. Oh, huge, huge stun. Okay, KO even. Um, of course, it's still 2D for the mummy, but still huge, right? Like that. That guard player could have come around, got in a very nice position. Yeah, exactly. You'd think. I mean, I'm not saying they must, but yeah, you would think after they've brought out these two in the same season, halflings and goblins, they'd do the same with snotlings and uh, ogres. Okay, that was a nice. Some, that was some nice dice from Sol. So you know, some things to think about for Dimmy here. Oh, okay, he's instantly going for this Rush Blitz. He's just going to dodge and get away, maybe? All ten of us. Yep. Yeah, it, it, I, I very much doubt that you, they would They would. They would do... Uh, I haven't played. I haven't played on the ladder yet. Um, Trouble vision. Haven't played on the ladder yet. I do have the daily of well, not daily, weekly of winning three games with undead, and winning three games with dark elves. So I might play. Might play those games. Oh my god! You're getting trapped in a week in, in, in daily missions. It's marvelous now, but over again. <laughs> yep. Okay, gets the power. The problem is, like the re the the reliable block means that he only has a zombie to move rather than a ghoul. I think it was probably better to take the riskier block for the bigger payoff. Oh my goodness! Use his last reroll to to stop this turnover and get the knockdown. Yeah, I think maybe like doing the riskier block there then like gets this ghoul all the way down right like what seven squares okay he's made the dodge he's just going for the touchdown he is he does the he does the dance as well but he's giving Sol a chance of a one turn so but a, a re-rollless one turn for Sol Sol has done some you know has displayed some good one turning abilities so we shall see if he can roll the dice Yeah, Ogre's a lot more fun, and they've also got like low-cost linemen, right? So they're they're substantially better than they were. Not a big effort. True. Vamps, yeah. Well, the thing is, this is the thing, BB, not right. All the fumblers are saying that Vamps are uncontestedly the best, the best team, but also. There's like a decent coach with a 2,600 TV vampire team. So, yeah, he's going to do pretty well, isn't he? You know? <laughs> He'd be that doing pretty be like well. A, like an okay team, you know? <laughs> is a, yeah. Yeah, he'd be doing pretty yeah, well yeah, with yeah. 2.6k Yeah, 26, 26, Jesus Christ, mm. man. 
That's a uh, old uh, vampires with more than 176 SPP. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, Al Alvachon won won uh, won the first well won the preseason right with uh, Blackhawks that were 2.6k. Like even Blackhawks, if they're 2.6k, are pretty bloody good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like any team with 2.6k is going to dominate. So I'm not sure how the uh, vampires are as good as people say they are. But, I mean, they're obviously good, right? They're obviously good, and they're obviously better than they used to be. But I'm not sure they're as good as people say or think they are. Right, so this is interesting, isn't it? He's going to rely on the roger, where hey, and then... That those two pushes will give him one push, and then he can uh, hit it for the second. There you go, there you go. Mordred knows very well. Uh, Dim is a master of mind games. <laughs> well, Bucky, you say I'm wrong, but again, there's a vanishingly small sample size in Fumble, right? There, there's 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 like five top tier coaches on Fumble. And then you give them, you give one of them a two point six k vampire team. They're gonna win majors, right? <laughs> if if myself and Artemis and Eliod all decided to play two point six k chaos, all of a sudden chaos would win some majors, wouldn't they? Well, there's a good chance of that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now I have to say that that's so Bams has always been a team for the. <laughs> I'm gonna be polite. Elitist pretentious uh, coaches, you know, they, they take a complicated team, difficult to play, and they say, no, no, but you can make it work. Yeah. Because Vampire is a very difficult uh, team to handle, you know, with all the blood sucking and all that, and very powerful uh, players, but and a bunch of videos around them. <laughs> So it's always, you know, they were like, oh, it can't work, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that. And there was, in Blue Ball 2, there was super powerful vampire uh, coaches and very powerful uh, vampire teams. Mm. But when push come to shove in the big tournaments, they never did that well. He's not a real hustler. In general. Yeah. Oh, they, they do well. I mean, they're doing well on Fumble. But again, it's just a vanishing, vanishingly small sample size. And like a shallow, a shallow pool of players. Like there's just not that many people playing. There's just not that many people playing on Fumble, right? Like there's loads more games happening on Blood Bowl three. There's just not many games happening on Blood Bowl on Fumble. Uh, and I, look, I'm not saying that they're not. They're obviously good. I just think that the people saying that they're, you know, miles ahead are just wrong. They could still be right, but they're wrong to say that they're miles ahead because of the lack of sample size, right? There, there, there's just not, there can't be enough knowledge about them to just definitively say it. And also, Chirgund, you may call myself mediocre, but Artemis is definitely the best coach on Fumble. <laughs> 100%. So there you go. That's a statement there. That's a statement there all the way to Artemis now. You know, Artemis <laughs> has to prove himself now in Fumble. It's not even a debate right now. It's just not. Absolute domination. While, while he's still misclicking like half of the games and stuff, can't read the board, and he's still absolutely dominating um, in BBT. So there you go. Um, so there you go. Dimmy makes the hit, <laughs> kills the roger pointlessly. Totally <laughs> bad. Makes the point. Makes, makes the point. point. The most glorious moment of the game that we all knew. Absolutely amazing. So there you go. So Dimmy was completely right to go for the win. I wouldn't have done it. I would have just fouled the stripper and camped out for the 1-1 draw. I would have thought my failed offence just meant draw at best. So, um, so you know, fair play to Dimmy going for it. Going for the win. Got the win. What an absolute badass. Well, you go. Dimmy, Dimmy is a level 98 coach and Elio told say that you are a level 95. So... <laughs> Those three points are with our only power. <laughs> it is hilarious that Dimmy's not even level 100. He hasn't played yeah. too much Blood Bowl 3. 
But um, what a great what a great result for Dimi. Great performance, you know. Like uh, I tried to like give him constructive feedback in this because I know Dimi, you know, like I know Dimi wants to get better and stuff. So I was trying to be a bit more constructive and stuff uh, early on with like you know what he could have been doing a little bit better. But uh, you know that's just my opinion. And at the end of the day, I lost my first game because I played terribly. Dimi's won his first game, so you know all congratulations to Dimi. Beats the number one ranked player in the USA in NAF style. So there you go. Dimi absolutely proving himself worthy of being in this competition. Congrats, Dimi. Commiserations, Sol. And thank you very much, Fimea, for joining me halfway through. Absolutely uh, cool. No worries, no worries. I was uh, playing another game. I didn't realize that this thing was on. I would have come earlier. That You know, I'm always on Dimi's uh, side. <laughs> glorious well there you go and uh yeah we're all on dimmy's side champ 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 yeah well, well that's a soul that's a soul that's a soul so he's a cool guy and the guy uh, beat the knockout game of uh, blindfolded that's a uh, an incredible achievement yeah that's yeah. actually an impressive achievement it is yeah, yeah great properly, fun soul. properly blindfolded <laughs> Yep, great fun of Sol as well. And actually, I'm playing Sol a couple of games on Saturday. We're going to continue this best of 17. So, um, so you know, we'll see a bit more of Sol at the weekend. And there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.